Hello, welcome back. All right, today we're going to take a look at uh, market research. Now you might say market research, oh my gosh, uh, that's research, you're not into it, you may not really appreciate the value, but let's go back for just a second and take a look at what's the function of a business or what's marketing all about. It's to get, serve, and keep customers at a profit repeatedly. Okay, that's what we're in the business to do. Now, so, and remember we have the buyers and the sellers. The buyers have money and they're giving that to the seller in exchange for a product, service, or idea that they're looking for. Wonderful. All right, so what products are out there? What, uh, what customers to go after? What, what's the nature of the product? Uh, what's the timing? You need information. Well, that's what we do about market research. That's why we do it. We try to get information uh, so then uh, you can decide on what, what products, what services, and so on. So let's take a look at, well, the textbook goes through some processes. We're going to discuss those. But what are we really looking for? Why are we doing research? I like to take, take a different look at it, perspective at it. And the only reason we do uh, market research is to make decisions. Okay? That's make a de so make a choice. So as you as a marketer, you're trying to figure out ultimately which customers to sell to, what prices to price the product at, what distribution systems do you want to use? Do we truck it? Do we airplane it? Whatever. So those are decisions. Okay, so the best thing with market research is to anticipate decisions and figure out ahead of time what decisions are you going to have to make in the future, whether or not it's a, in a few weeks, a few months, whatever. But identify the decision, then come back and do as the book says, the various steps of, of uh, research, the need recognition and so on, where you analyze what you need or you, you decide what to get, go out and get it, analyze it and then report it and actually ultimately implement it. But the very first thing, the guiding force should be what decisions are you having to make? Because that will then help you decide what, uh, what information to get. Because you may have to decide what pro what, how much to price the product at and you may not need to know all about the demographics of the customer or the distribution system. Okay, so that's up to you. So ultimately, the first step of research is to decide which decisions you have to make.